I was talking to Leonard the other day and he said he hadn't saw any pictures of my my new little airplane I'm building here and uh, you know I've been talking a lot about this legal legal I'm building here and uh, so this is some video and some information for those building and thinking and planning and concerned about certain things and see what we can pass on here uh, what I'm doing I'm building another legal legal now I've built a total of this is my fourth fuselage and uh, this is my third legal legal and uh, what my goal is to do something a little bit different and the goal on this one is build it just as light as possible and I've made a lot of changes these are not changes for anybody or everybody they're just changes for me for what I'm doing I want to prove some points I want to see some things that work and some things that don't and there's a good chance when I get through hard landing on this fuselage I might crunch it up who knows the first thing to think about ever tube in this except for the landing gear uh, that's uh, from the frame down to the wheels is 0.028 wall tubing and uh, 0.28 wall tubing number one is a little bit more difficult to weld it's lighter uh, it's somewhat easier to work with bends a whole lot easier and uh, it also crunches and does other things a lot easier anyway uh, my total fuselage there's three fuselages I have here this one right here weighed about 23 pounds and that's with paint on it and ready to fly with the fabric on the front of it even be quiet while this airplane's taken off over there. Um, the Orv over there, its fuselage weighed about 33 pounds, 35 pounds. And then we've got another legal eagle back here, and it was a good 35 pounds, maybe a little bit more. This one's actually built per plans. All the tubing sizes and everything are exactly per plans. And uh, this one here is far from plans. And uh, I'll just do a little bit of a walk around here real quick to start with. Uh, anybody that's built one of these or familiar with one of these is probably seeing some changes. Uh, one of the things you're going to notice is tubing diameters are changed. You're also going to notice that I've got a couple of extra pieces of tubing in here. One of the things that happens on the XL and the uh, ultralight version if you go out on the end of the wingtip and kind of move it back and forth it tends to wiggle a little bit more in a fuselage well this one isn't going to do that I've got a dangle tube and some braces up here this is stiff it ain't going nowhere and even though it's a thinner wall tubing with a whole lot smaller structure in a lot of places now it's it's pretty much built for plans in terms of concept but uh, I'm not the normal person here. Got a Werner up here in the front. I got a round oil tank on the front of it because I found out I don't need all that oil tank up there for cooling. And so trying something a little bit different, I'm going to put a little fiberglass bump on the end of that eventually when I get time. And uh, got the engine mount there. I think this mount's going to work out pretty nice. Anyway, uh, I got the fuel tank. I got that left to weld up and get that area installed, my windshield, and uh, my battery. I just got to get it mounted. Got to put brake fluid in it yet. But uh, uh, now, this is just kind of a walk around, and then I'll get into some details here. Uh, what happens, I'll start at the back here. One of the first things you might notice is the tail wheel. And uh, I got this idea from Denny Celine. He's got a tail wheel very similar to this on his Legal Eagle. And uh, um, anyway, I'm trying kind of what he did. Now, tubing sizes, thickness of wall. It's again all 028 wall tubing back here, except for the vertical that goes up into the uh, into the vertical shaft here. It's an 035. And uh, what happens is. Uh, Got a little spring down there, and I've had to, that's my third spring to get one that what seems about right. I've got a stop over here to keep it from falling out. And uh, now I do something a little bit different starting right here. Uh, I put a hinge here because when I take the airplane apart to put it in the trailer, I don't want to take this part out. I want it to stay. I don't want to take cables loose. I want to pull two four bolts 
and pull that out so this here stays on the airplane and it's got the stops built in and then I've got the hinges out on the elevator like normal but uh, that makes a change there now one of the things you'll notice this is 3 8 inch tubing I've got in here a lot of it again it's all 028 wall now I've offset the, the rudder just a little bit the vertical stabilizer to allow for p-factor on this engine I've got lightning holes lots of lightning holes and my cables are 16th inch so there's a lot of differences that I'm doing here now the reason I went with 16th inch on Leonard I visited him last fall and his original legal legal has 16th inch cables and so if they're good enough for him they're good enough for me and that's what I'm gonna give a try now I've got some different mounts down here nothing fancy but they do the job uh, when we get up into this area here the plans call for pop roots in every one of these junctions but uh, I drill quarter inch holes not every other one but quite a few of them to lighten it up I used aluminum rivets and uh, uh, if you've followed my blog legallegalflyingadventures.com I've got lots of pictures of different things I've done I've got weights of things like this little pulley I built before and after I finished it what the original weight was I've got pictures of these little things right here before and after the the mounting but uh, before and after the holes I saved about uh, half the weight of each one of those by all those little holes the uh, uh, throttle cable up here and uh, lightning holes there a little piece of aluminum up here to lighten it up rudder pedals those are 0.028 wall uh, this is 0.016 aluminum just like on Orv over there and what the plans show uh, one of the other things I did you notice that right there the original um, ultralight version that was called out as 0.125 thick on my legal legal uh, XL Orv those are 090 on this one here they're 065 so we'll try and see how that does and uh, got my pulleys mounted and all ready to put cables through there um, I've got my wing attach points all ready to go and uh, now I do not have springs in here I opted to go with these big tires the springs weigh roughly a one and three quarter pound each these tires weigh eh, roughly eight pounds each so by getting rid of this I'm down to about six pounds which works out about two pounds heavier than the uh, like the 606 tires but with about four and a half to five pounds pressure in these you got quite a bit of quite a bit of give there and uh, you can bounce it around quite a bit and rough ground and whatnot now I mounted the engine out at the side like a normal standard aircraft type situation I wanted to get the, new, the CG feather back so I've got a hole in the firewall and got my air cleaner back here a little ways that way I've got my engine back a little bit and uh, fuel tank will mount up here on top I got my oil pressure gauge mounted up here when I get time I'll mount it that way on ORV uh, saves a little bit of weight and it's up there you just need to see what it's sitting at you don't need it up real close got my wires ready for go to go on this these little tubes here of course are 028 wall uh, as I get into this more I may or may not end up with a starter motor and uh, exhaust pipes these right here are eighth inch aluminum and these are plumbing fittings don't know how long they'll last understand on the half VW they last about 50 hours we'll see how, how they last on here and uh, got my black max hydraulic dual master cylinder weighs 2.2 pounds and uh, if you're building one of these the wheels tires brakes is an area that uh, can really make a difference in terms of weight 
Now, I fly in a lot of different environments, and I'm not going to fly an airplane that I don't have brakes. And with the kind of flying I do, I'm not going to fly an airplane that I don't have differential braking. And I have both those here, but they're kind of heavy. And so I'm working on alternatives to wheels, tires, brakes that can lighten that up. And uh, those two tires, in all honesty, you're looking at about 16 pounds for those two tires. Well, if you go to the uh, to the little bitty uh, wheel bar tires that come with the Black Max, uh, they're two ply, and uh, you've got two tires there for about uh, a little bit less than four pounds. That's a 12 pound savings. The only problem I have, we have stickers out here in this grass and uh, whatnot, and you end up in a situation where sometimes I don't get over one or two takeoff and landings for I have a flat tire. And even when they're working great, after about five or six hours of flight time, I done scuffed the tread off of them. And so it's a great idea, great weight savings, but they don't last very long. The bicycle type tires are really nifty neat. And uh, the only problem I had with those is sometimes when you're landing in an intense crosswind and you get turned sideways and you're still moving, uh, they don't like that too well. And uh, again, it depends on the kind of flying you do. If you only fly on nice days, they're great. If you fly on, on grass or dirt strips, they're probably great. But when you fly everywhere and winds sometimes that are 20 mile an hour, 100% or 90 degrees off the side, uh, you can have some problems. And uh, when you wipe out a five or $600 prop because your tire folded over, kind of ruins your whole day. Anyway, I have my uh, scoop away kitty litter back there. Keep it from tipping over on her nose. And uh, by the way, I shortened this fuselage about seven inches. So we'll see how that works out. I've reduced the tail size uh, in area uh, a little bit and I've reduced the wings in area a little bit to all to save weight. So if you're going to Oshkosh this summer, you're gonna have a good chance of seeing this if everything keeps working or gets back to working i should say and uh we'll see how the world goes anyway that's it and have fun keep on building i'm going to add on to my video and i meant to do this earlier kind of referred to it and then walked by it there's a couple of things i've done that uh is i think very much worth noting uh one of the things i've done is i've added this diagonal right here and what happens before I added that diagonal with the fuselage bottom tied very firmly down on my workbench if you grab the top of this up here it like to wiggle and with all this light wall tubing it's aggravated more than the 035 well I put that brace across there that diagonal and it don't wiggle no more it's an assembly the other thing that happens is the front of this very gently wiggled not very much but it's like okay and i put a little piece of this is 032 that's 028 this is 032 it's uh about an inch and a quarter wide just a little plate right there on each side and welded it in what that does is keeps any of that from moving it moves as an assembly now rather than wiggling and flopping around and uh, now something else i've done is these here are 3 8 inch wall tubes in place of uh, the half inch or five eighths called out on the plans but that's a couple of very big things i've done and uh, if you're having a problem it's something you might consider uh, because it doesn't add a lot of weight and it sure stiffens that up on orv i went with the streamlined struts to keep the wing movement down and it's going to be interesting because on this one I'm going to go with the round struts and with my diagonal tube and my braces up here it's going to be interesting to see how stiff the wings are how, how stiff the whole assembly is if it works out great because the streamlined struts basically weigh about 16 pounds total whereas the round tubes weigh uh, less than eight pounds total so you got about eight to twelve pounds you can save right there on those struts if you can go to round instead of streamline that's a big one that and the wheels and tires and brakes and you got some some wiggle room 
Okay, that's it. Have a good one.